Payload Aerospace SL PLD Space is a Spanish company developing two reusable launch vehicles called Miura 1 and Miura 5. Miura 1 is designed as a sounding rocket for suborbital flights to perform research or technology development in microgravity environment and or in the upper atmosphere. Furthermore, Miura 1 is also serving as the technological demonstrator of the orbital launcher Miura 5. Miura 5 will provide orbital launch capabilities for small payloads such as CubeSats or microsatellites, that need a flexible and dedicated launch vehicle and therefore cannot fly with traditional launch vehicles. It is being designed to deliver a payload mass up to 300 kg into low Earth orbit. Topic. History PLD Space was founded in 2011 by Raúl Torres and Raúl Verdú in Elche, Spain, and as of 2018 it employs 40 people. In August 2017 the company headquarter moved to new facilities in the Elche Industrial Park, where the assembly facilities for Miura 1 are located. Since 2014, the company is operating an engine test stand located at the airport in Teruel, where they performed the first test of its liquid fuel engine on July 1, 2015. It was the first time a liquid rocket engine was tested in Spain, and the first time a private company in Europe testing a liquid rocket engine in its own facilities. PLD Space plans to expand their test facilities to include a vertical test stand to qualify the complete Miura 1 suborbital rocket. In early August 2018, PLD Space and the Teruel Airport Consortium signed the concession of a 13,337 square meters space at the airport for the PLD Space to test launcher technology. The agreement has a period of 25 years, with the option of an additional 10 year extension. PLD Space will invest €1 million Euros in infrastructure for the construction of a new control room, offices, access paths, a rocket engine maintenance hangar and a new test bench to test the complete Miura 1 rocket. Topic. Funding The company has been funded through a series of investment rounds with institutional and private sources and up to now gathered investments worth around $10 million. In 2013 they closed a $1.6 million investment round, including a seed contract with the Spanish government through the Technological and Industrial Development Center, CDTI. PLD Space secured its first commercial contract as one of the partners in the Small Innovative Launcher for Europe SMILE program with the European Commission and the German Aerospace Center DLR, in December 2015. The company is responsible for testing liquid propulsion engines for the DLR at its propulsion test facilities in the airport of Teruel. In April 2016, PLD Space secured a further $1.56 million from Spain's TEPREL Reusable Launcher Engine Program. TEPREL acronym for Spanish Reusable Propulsion Technologies for Launchers will help PLD Space to continue their liquid rocket engine program, the first one in Spain dedicated to boost the small satellite industry in Europe. This project will help PLD Space to develop a 35 kN rocket engine qualified for flight. In October 2016, the European Space Agency ESA, selected PLD Space as the prime contractor for the Liquid Propulsion Stage Recovery Project LPSR as part of the agency's Future Launchers Preparatory Program FLPP. The goal of this project is to study a strategy to recover the first stage of a launcher, making it partially reusable, with a prospected funding of $800,000. In a second investment round, closed in January 2017, the company secured $7.1 million, $3.2 million of that contributed by GMV. GMV also took the role to develop the complete avionics of Miura 1 and Miura 5, including guidance, navigation and control, GNC, telemetry and onboard software for both launchers. 
PLD Space received further $2.34 million in January 2018 through the European Commission's Medium-Sized Enterprises SME Instrument Phase 2, as part of the European Union's Horizon 2020 program for research and innovation, a grant to support to the development of a pair of launchers designed for small satellites. In February 2018 PLD Space was one of the five companies chosen by ESA to perform a feasibility study proposing an economically viable, commercially self-sustaining micro-launcher. For this, the company received a funding of $368,000. Rocket engine PLD Space is developing a liquid propellant rocket engine technology to be used on their launchers. The TEPREL engine, called after the Spanish reusable engine program that is financing its development, uses kerosene and liquid oxygen as propellants. So far, several versions of this engine, intended to propel Miura 1, have been developed and tested on the company's own liquid propulsion test facilities located in Teruel, Spain. Topic. TEPREL demo The TEPREL demo engine was first tested in 2015. It is a calorimetric engine model, intended to demonstrate combustion stability as well as to acquire relevant information such as ignition and shutdown sequences, pressures and temperatures along the engine, thrust and propellant mass flow rates at different thrust profiles. Additionally, the engine served to test all associated hardware and software at PLD Space Propulsion Test Facilities. The engine is capable to produce a thrust of 28 kilonewtons at sea level. Topic. T -E -P -R -E -L -A. With the TEPRELA engine, first tested in 2017, the company included several design upgrades, such as an improved injector geometry and a regenerative cooling system. The later enables the engine to fire for nearly two minutes, which is the envisaged nominal functioning duration for the suborbital launch vehicle Miura 1. At sea level, the engine produces a thrust of 32 kilonewtons. TEPRELB TEPRELB is the first flight version of the TEPREL engine. Several design improvements have been implemented to reduce the overall weight of the engine. It is equipped with a thrust vector control system. Topic. Vehicles. Topic. Miura 1 Miura 1, previously called Ariane 1, was originally proposed as a two-stage rocket capable of achieving suborbital flight. It was originally planned to be 12 meters long, with a capacity of 250 kilograms 551 pounds. The engines were to use liquid oxygen and kerosene as propellants. In its final design, Miura 1 is a 12.7 meters long 0.7 meters diameter one stage rocket, propelled by one TEPRELB engine. The vehicle can fly a payload of up to 200 kilograms on a suborbital trajectory. In its first mission, it will carry 100 kilograms of payload to an apogee of 150 kilometers. Additionally, Miura 1 is equipped with a recovery system using its engines and parachutes that enable PLD space to recover the vehicle from the ocean and reuse the complete launch vehicle. With this, it will be the first recoverable launch vehicle in Europe. Miura 1 is intended to be used for scientific research or technology development in a microgravity environment and or in the upper atmosphere. Furthermore, about 70% of the technology developed for Miura 1 is planned to be used on the Miura 5 orbital rocket. T 
Topic: Miura 5. Miura 5, previously called Arian 2, is a 20.7 meters long three-stage launch vehicle capable of inserting 300 kilograms of payload into a 400 kilometers low Earth orbit, featuring a kick stage that can circularize the orbits of satellites. All three stages are planned to be liquid propelled and its technology is inherited from Miura 1. The first stage is reusable by the combined use of its engines and parachutes for retrieval. Topic. Launch schedule The first test flight of Miura-1 is foreseen to take place late in 2019 from an experimental rocket launch site in Huelva, southwestern Spain, called El Arenicillo, and it will carry a payload from the German Center of Applied Space Technology and Microgravity ZARM. The commercial flight service will begin in 2020. Up to eight suborbital launches are targeted per year. The first test flight of Miura 5 is planned to take place in late 2021. Topic. See also Firefly Aerospace List of orbital launch systems List of private spaceflight companies Relativity Space Rocket Lab Vector Launch